Sea Engineer and I have six weeks to make the best possible hardcore Iron Man. The next 45 days of our lives will be entirely invested into these accounts. We'll be growing attached to them just to put it all on the line in a 1v1 fight to the death. If at any point we die before that month is up, we must remake the account and try our best to catch up. Let's get started. We want to get into Sea Engineer's head right away and win this thing, so I decided to name myself Winning POV. Turns out he also had a similar idea to me. There's going to be a lot of risk that I'm going to take on this account so I can ensure that I get an edge over Sea Engineer. And the time to start risking this account is right now. So I'm going to get myself some starting food, jugs of wine, which heal 11 HP. They also come at a dirt cheap cost of 1 GP each. I'm curious if getting the 10k from the Stronghold of Security is also nostalgic for other people, because this is just something that like burned into my memory from when I was young. This blue wizard has a nice little upgrade since it only costs about 2 GP and it gives me some okay bonuses. We don't really need all that many runes to start with. I think only about 500 mine runes. We're gonna get ourselves a staff of air and we still have 4.7k left over so we could buy ourselves a few more runes. I basically just spent every last GP that I have in the hopes that this training method that I'm gonna do is gonna be sustainable for the amount of GP I get from it. Despite the fact that it is very risky, we're gonna be killing lava dragons since we can get a bunch of beginning prayer levels we can get a bunch of different beginning magic levels and if we're lucky we can get some decent drops that we can sell for some good gp no way dude already already somebody was there <laughs> like i know i'm in level 42 wilderness so i gotta be on alert but like who actually still pks in lava dragon isle man <laughs> there's like nothing you can get here Oh my god, he actually could have attacked me, dude. Okay, so I decided to hop to a high-risk world, and I think we're good at this point. I just hope nobody comes here, man. I've had to waste two dragon kills. I'm gonna go ahead and get a looting bag. I'm gonna get myself some bones, and just for the hell of it, I'm gonna get myself a rune item that's gonna go for a decent amount of alk value. I mean, to get that, you need to box the lava dragon for the final end. No, uh, you don't. See? <laughs> oh no damn i'm so jealous <laughs> no looting so bag to be fair okay that's another two kills nothing great from that but i want to go ahead and use these lava dragon bones real quick so from three lava dragon bones we got 12 13 prayer even so i'm obviously going back to lava dragons but i want to get myself a lot of gp so i can get a lot more runes and stay at lava dragons for a good amount of time instead of just having to go back and forth thankfully these guys over here can't actually one shot me at least i'm pretty sure even though it's obviously risky this is such a good early money making method just looting these steel plate body spawns because you can get 1200 gp per steel plate body and i'm just gonna fill up my looting bag so it's gonna be a decent amount of cash right there while i make myself some quick money let me actually tell you how you can save some today's video is sponsored by one of my favorite sponsors i've had and that is rocket money there are so many different reasons why i love rocket money let's start with the simple one they've saved their users over 500 million dollars in canceled subscriptions with the average user saving up to 740 dollars a year rocket money is an all-in-one finance platform that makes your life so much easier by helping you save more and spend less. I really cannot recommend this app enough. I absolutely love it and it does so much for me. For starters, the app helps negotiate lowering your bills for you, which is so incredibly useful. It lets you easily access your credit score. It helps you build custom budgets, grow your savings. And of course, my favorite feature is it helps you keep track of all of your subscriptions. Admittedly, I used to have way too many subscriptions to different things I never use. But thankfully with Rocket Money, I was able to cancel all those wasted subscriptions with a click of one button the app is so easy to use and it really is such a game changer so if you want to support me and make your financial life easier then join the over 5 million members using rocket money today just head to rocketmoney.com framed or click my link in the description to get started for free or unlock even more features with premium it really is that easy to use and you'll be supporting the channel big time big thanks to rocket money for sponsoring today's video and that's the last steel plate body now we just gotta get out of the wilderness the ferrex enclave is absolutely one of the best updates this game has ever seen man you can't change my mind on that not only do you have the regeneration pool so you get your hp your prayer your run energy and all that but you also have this little staircase down here that brings you all the way to the soul wars portal which is essentially just a free teleport to edgeville a little bit slower but basically a free edgeville teleport so from all of that we ended up getting ourselves 37 steel plate bodies now let's go sell them so we take these steel plate bodies and we sell them one at a 
of time to Horvick's Armor Shop in Varrock, and it is just such a good way to get a little bit of starting GP on an Iron Man. It took me basically no time to get those steel plate bodies, and now we have 44k cash, just raw GP, just like that. We did end up spending a decent portion of it, but we have so many runes now, so I'm gonna be able to last that Lava Dragons for a long time. I think my dog just closed my door. While I still have a little bit of GP, I still wanted to get myself a Chronicle, which is basically just a free Varrock teleport, as well as a Cabbage Cape. Again, it has very little bonuses to it, but there are bonuses and it's pretty cheap, so I think it's worth it. Okay, it's finally time to go back to Lava Dragons. Dude, oh, oh my gosh. Like, I don't want to really log out, man. Look how close I am. I have to, I have to. You know what? I'm going to kill him on my other account. Yeah, you're gone. He freaking killed my dragon, dude. Like, come on. That is so deserved. Anyway, 196K. Hopefully they don't come back and try to PK me because I just intend to stay here. Oh my God, they came back, dude. I'm going to kill him again. They came back. I knew they would. <laughs> I can finally kill this freaking dragon, dude. I don't think that person's coming back. At least I hope not. And uh, well, 20 law runes is pretty good. Yes, dude. I can actually sell the freaking other rune axe. That's so nice. I think it's about time that I head out. I'm going to kill maybe like a few more dragons, but there's so many different PKers here. Plus, I got 33 magic and 21 HP from this, so... I'm happy with the progress I've made, and I'm going to get some decent prayer levels from it, too. This guy can't actually attack me, but I hope he doesn't have a friend who does. So I ended up with about nine Lava Dragon Bones, and I'm going to get like 20-something prayer from it, I think. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. 23 prayer. So while I run away, I do want to point out, I did get myself 80 Law Runes, plus in the looting bag, I mean... I don't have much at all, to be honest, but like, it's still pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how Lava Dragons went. Well, while I'm still in the wilderness, I want to get myself a few more steel plate bodies because this cash is just too good not to go for. Oh my God. That guy's actually waiting for people. Can that guy even attack me? That guy could have attacked yes. me. Oh my God. <laughs> I gotta get out of the wilderness. So I'm not done with the wilderness just yet. I mean, I do eventually have to go back later on because there's a few items I want to still get, but I'm going to go ahead and risk it by selling some of these items to the wilderness general store since they buy items for high alk value and I can't really pass up on that. So instead of selling this to a general store and getting about 5k, I sell it to here and get 7.6k. Plus, I still have the rune jabs to sell and these steel plate buttons. But you know, I can already sell the rest in Varrock. From selling those items, we walk away having made about 18k. I'm gonna go sell the rest of these steel plate bodies in Varrock. Okay, we can actually go and do that in a minute, but first there's an iron bar spawn here, and I'm gonna need a few iron bars, so I may as well fill up a looting bag real quick. Okay, now I'm happy. Now we have a starting cash stack of 64k about, which I can do a lot with that. So I think it's time to get ourselves a little bit more HP. See, Engineer and I are racing to 500,000 subscribers. He just doesn't realize it yet, so make sure you subscribe so we can can beat him thanks now comes the best part about being a hardcore iron man letting everyone know that you're a hardcore iron man please do not use the northern staircase oh, okay. use the southern one instead oh, okay my bad i'm sorry that's restless ghost for 25 prayer i just completed rune mysteries which is a big reason as to why i'm the goat here's a genie lamp that i'll probably use on something like prayer because it would be really good to get my prayer level up for the fight there it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's Witch's House right here for 29 HP. And that is Doric's Quest. That is Gertrude's Cat for 12 cooking. Give me the screen. Thank you. That is the Knight's nice Sword. And that is 10 Fletching. Cave spotting in this game is so easy. What do you think that the guards think when they see a slave walking towards their camp? And then just walks right in. Yes. <laughs> huh. That's a well-behaved slave. <laughs> this quest is just old reliable to getting free agility. 1 to 26 agility, just like that. You always got to do the tortoise trap for agility. You think Sea Engineer is going to do the tortoise trap for agility? I mean, that, that guy builds hardcore Iron Men for a living. So, like, you would think that he'd know that by now. But we'll see if by the time this video comes out, he actually did it. Tree Gnome Village. And that is the Grand Tree for 37 attack. And some other stuff. So I'm not actually going to do this prayer training method, but it is interesting and I want to show you. So normally you can't trade as an Iron Man, right? As a hardcore Iron Man. But there's a weird mechanic where if you burn Joker bones on another account, they turn into burnt Joker bones, which hardcore Iron Man and any Iron Man for that matter can pick up 
and then they can bury. I'm not going to do that overall, but if I wanted to just cheese 43 prayer, I could just do that zero risk. But I have different plans for how I want to get myself 43 prayer. And that is the waterfall quest. A 30 strength. That's vampire slayer. 44 attack. 14 thieving from fight arena. 22 fishing. No one cares about ready up. Nobody cares. <laughs> ready up. 22 fishing. Who are you speaking? And I needed 10 trout for death plateau. So now I can actually do that. That is death plateau. It's not much, but these climbing boots are probably going to be my best in slot melee boots for a while. It's time to go for a rune simtar, which is about a 1 in 50 drop from these Zamorak warriors, but last time I was here, it took me about like 160 KC, so I'm hoping I don't have that luck again. Oh no, this happened last time. The adamant longsword is the same drop rate as the rune scimitar, so it's basically you either get this or the rune scimitar, and uh, I got like four of them last time, so I'm really hoping that doesn't happen on this account. Yeah, I've spent about like two three hours doing this so far and i just haven't gotten the drop so i'm taking a break i'm gonna go do something else that is merlin's crystal and that is holy grail for 31 defense and 33 prayer so i wanted to try out pest control because it's supposed to be pretty good prayer experience for iron man at least that's what i heard but apparently i heard wrong because i only get 18 xp per point that's some ass i'm not doing this <laughs> it's really bad well thankfully i have a backup prayer method but i need to get myself a little bit more gp first so I'm going to go get some more steel plate bodies. All right, let's get the hell out of here. And now we've got ourselves a 94k cash stack. Some people can probably put two and two together for what I'm doing for my prayer method, but I needed to come to the mage bank since I need to get myself a few different types of runes. Got ourselves some natures and we got ourselves some body runes. Just wanted to stop by and get myself some free best in slot prayer robes. That is X marks the spot. So now we can get to Zaya. And for the last piece of the puzzle, we just needed to get ourselves a few soul runes here, which are ridiculously expensive by the way. So I just want to try out this prayer method where I use the Arceu spellbook on the Insoul Giant Heads that I can get from these guys. Every Insoul Giant Head is 650 prayer experience, so I can actually shoot up the 43 prayer pretty quickly if I get decent luck on these guys. I am unfortunately very quickly realizing that this method might not be all that viable. I mean, to get my first Insoul Giant Head, I just had to go through about 700 mind runes, so I think I'm going to have to go to play and see. So for the record, I think I would have needed about 47 more in Soul Giants heads. But in the middle of all of this, I realized, as you can see right now, there's three big bones that spawn in the middle of these hill giants. By the way, that's 35 prayer. I want to get 43 since there's a lot I need to do and I need prayer for it. So as ridiculous as this sounds, I'm literally going to hop through all these worlds collecting these big bones and just bury them until I get 43. bone burying journey is going good so far we just got 40 prayer so we have protect from range we only got three levels left to go and yeah this is taking an uh, extremely long time but it's absolutely worth it okay so we've successfully buried our way to 42 prayer a little bit off of 43 but i did get a few in soul giants heads before i ended up going to this method so we can actually finish off 43 prayer with that method Do you believe that i killed 165 of them and i only got four they're like a one in 25 drop that's really not the best luck at all. But regardless, it's okay because we can finish off our prayer with it. There we go. 43 prayer, man. We might return to this prayer training method later, but we have protect from melee. There's so much we can do now. I'm looking forward to it. That's Clan of Karend. Don't mind me. I just need like a couple strange fruits so I can do the monkey madness part where you just need to run a lot. Okay, that should be good. Oh, you're asking what I contributed to taking down the jungle demon? A two. Two damage. And that is Monkey Madness completed. Plus, I got 10k. I must be a broken record at this point, but you should always choose strength and stamina when building any account. It is by far the best choice, in my opinion. So we go from 37 HP all the way to 45 HP and 42 strength. So that is Daddy's home for a construction. But more importantly, I just got all these supplies and a free house. That is Goblin Diplomacy done. And that is the Lost Tribe completed for the Ring of Life, which is just so important to have on a hardcore Iron Man, especially at low levels. God forbid I'm not actually paying attention this thing could save my life if i get down to like five hp or so 
Maybe you still not completed this quest. So, uh, what? Hey! And that is Death to the Dorgashin, which actually got us 13 range from one. Completing that quest actually gave me access to the ham storage room, which is just such a good way to make low level GP on an Iron Man. If you somehow don't know by now, basically you just pickpocket them for a bunch of different types of keys and then you loot these chests. Hey, look at that, a diamond amulet. That's my power amulet unlocked. But yeah, you basically just get a bunch of different jewelry and you can either high alk it or just sell it to a shop for high alk price too, which is pretty nice. So now that I have my money making method unlocked i don't want to spend too much time doing it because i still have one pretty risky thing to do on this account well in fact i actually have a few risky things to do but i want to go and get myself the major arena one cape so i'm just going to do the arceus library straight to 60 magic and then first thing in the morning i'm going to wake up early and go and get that done i really do love the arceus library for training magic man it's so good that's 60 magic and i guess i'll see you in the morning good morning uh, i just realized that i actually don't have any money <laughs> to go get by chaos runes which i want to do this thing with chaos runes to make it quick so now we have it there we go just buy one chaos rune pack quick we have 100 runes and man i am just really hoping that there are no pkers on right now so the scariest thing about doing the mage arena is that if somebody logs in and attacks me right now in between this guy teleporting between phases he can actually attack me, and I'm basically screwed. There's nothing I can do. Okay, so far, so good. I do have player indicators on, and I haven't actually seen anybody scout me out yet, so I think, like, two more phases at this point, and we are home free. Whew, okay, it worked, man. The plan worked. That is the mage arena completed. This is probably the only nice thing on my account at this moment, to be honest, but I will take it. Plus, from this staff, we actually get 48k, since I'm not going to need the staff. There we go. That is also our amulet enchanted, so we have the amulet of power. I think it's finally time to make some more GP on this account, because I have some pretty big plans, and we're going to need a lot of cash for it. So just from a few trips, I got some rings of life, plus I got about 64k. While I buy some more runes, I did actually want to mention Agent 126, my other hardcore Iron Man. I actually plan on making a whole discussion about that on my second channel within like the next day or so, so if you want to hear about that... Please Please subscribe to the second channel. It's still framed. I'll have it on the screen. I'll also have it in the description as well. While I might be rich in runes, I am broke again. I literally only have 112 GP to my name, but by next video, I would like that to change because I want to be a millionaire. That's what we're going to aim for. And before you go and check out C Engineer's video to see what he did, let's get two likes on this video. Thanks.